Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz, and welcome back to Super Hostile Isolation. In the last episode, we took a little bit of a detour uh, and discovered Baba Danget, or rather her old shack, um, which actually led us to learn about the White Fang, which um, the reason why we discovered it was because, well, we, we decided that this guy is a little bit... Um, not worth it um but wow my heat goes down so fast um i actually understand a little bit better how the heat system works i'm i don't know how long it is until night um it shouldn't be much longer okay so uh something to kind of note and this is how i warmed up so quickly let's take two pieces of charcoal we'll put each of these and one single piece of cobblestone. You don't actually have to be cooking anything, just so long as this is uh, active like so. Um, I went and watched Vex had a little bit of a informational like video on how the temperature system works. Uh, ambient air is like negative 10. Uh, your armor actually takes off um, one per each like uh, full chest plate you have. So currently we have what, seven and a half? Um, so it takes off seven and a half from that 10. So each, every six seconds, um, the game tries to bring us down um, two and a half. Well, uh, what you're standing on also matters. Uh, snow has like a negative three value or something like that. So it brings you down three because, well, it's cold from that. Uh, furnaces give you more. And it's really easy to go the opposite direction, go really hot pretty quickly. Um, so it's kind of good to know. I want to have golden apples. Uh, we got a lava bucket last time, and I don't know if we're going to actually use it or not. But as soon as these furnaces go out, I want to get really hot because I have a feeling that the end stone in there is really, really low uh, temperature-wise. So the hotter we can get, the better. And there they go. Okay, so let's try to get the actual sword of White Fang. Um and not die in here so we're gonna we're gonna try to rush this as fast as we can um but still be cautious of skeletons falling down and scaring me <laughs> i legitimately jumped not even joking not even gonna lie like um so a bunch of things and then those guys I found out um, actually have a bit of a uh, aura to them so that it will uh, make you much colder this is supposed to be a fairly yeah we're already down to 39 this is a fairly uh, uh, late game area, so we're gonna we're gonna take our time. Wow, we just one shotted him. That's nice. At least they're weak, uh, unlike the skeletons. Uh, we have gas and like magma box but right there it looks like is our okay the gas is gone um or not i don't even hear it screaming all right cool um So, haha, <laughs> hit the uh, skeleton. Oh, Frostwalker. Frostwalker would actually be just completely ideal right now. Um, uneasy Alliance, what? Um, 
Hold up. Rescue a gas from the nether, bring it home. Wow. Uh, I didn't know that was an advancement. Okay. Come here. Thank you. Now, now you need to die. Um, hopefully before your uh, frost walker wears off. Alright, so unfortunately, ow, um, let's get a little bit of a wall. Um, we are very, very cold, yeah. Uh, let's stand up here. Let's, I guess let's retreat for a moment. Oh no. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Not so much. So let's get out of here. Let's let. Oh gosh. These guys are gonna be cold, chilling us very, very quickly. We need to kill them. Um, I'm gonna take a golden apple and it's a bunch of skeletons. Another one just fell. Uh, so there is a wide area spawner with these guys. Um, if I can get some of their boots, we could potentially rush. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be good. Um, we're gonna die here. Stand on this torch. It's taking golden apple. Oh, we're so dead. Um, but I don't think we can actually, like, physically die. Well, we can to this guy. Oh, man. Alright. So, we got incredibly cold. We're gonna... S Let's go ahead and sleep. Um, so what happened there is we got incredibly cold, and we started freezing to death. Um, let's take a shield... We didn't really have that much stuff on us, so we can go get do death runs pretty quickly. Um, I mean, our stuff is literally just here. Yeah, fight. Alright. Um. F. Nope. Ice elementals. Ugh. Okay, so I guess we could make just a normal sword. And be okay-ish. But the biggest thing is we just need to get in there, get our stuff. And then, ow, oh man, this is rough, this is so rough, um, these guys are relentless. them out from where my stuff is. Yeah, and then fight. 
and then I'm gonna completely ignore you. And be sad. Come on. There we go. Okay, we got our stuff back. Ah, that's what matters. Uh, looks like it's all of it too. So... I don't even know what sword this is. There should be... I figured there'd be a guy out here. Evidently not. Okay. So... Uh, let's warm up. And... Get our good iron armor on. Uh, so we have multiple leather caps. Leather chest plate. All that stuff. Let's... See, power one, this is the one we want. That is our actual sword. Now we could theoretically, uh, currently I wanna uh, put that on, it'll put us, make us even warmer. And theoretically, pick Cool. Uh, we should be able to, uh, well, we should be able to uh, ender pearl. I don't know if there's anything preventing us from doing that. Um, there's a lot of gold down there. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff down there. Um, I don't think we have enough of anything to like just jump in there and like, what am I trying to say? We can't just we can't just run in there and hope for the best, you know? We've got to actually kind of be smart about it. Now, we do have Frostwalker boots back home. That could let us just run straight across. Um, you know what? Let's go grab them. Uh, so... That should be something good enough. Let's go ahead and repair the shield. Uh, so let's let's abscond for a second. Abscond? I don't know. I like that word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so right over here. And I know for a fact that we got some Frostwalker boots uh, a while ago. Don't hold White Fang's copy while going down the staircase because you'll have a bad time. Um, but yeah, the 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 ice elementals are just awful. Um, the Frost Reverence are awful, and we're going to have to deal with those more in, uh, in more numbers sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, so the best option for, like, if we can manage to get some diamond armor, um, we could completely negate the entire effect of the cold. Um, is that going to happen? Probably not. Um, but it's something that could happen. So it's it's good to know. It's good to kind of consider. Is there anything in here that's good? Mm. More cobblestone. Okay. So I believe back at the geothermal plant is where we need to go. But uh, yeah, so kind of... All right, we, we know where the end of the dungeon is. And there's four spawners, probably what's been spawning everything um, since we got in there. So the ice elementals, the... Uh, there Because there are no natural spawns in this uh, map. As far as I'm aware, there are zero natural spawns. Um, so we have to deal with... There's four spawners, there's probably two frost revenants... Uh, there might actually be two different types because I've been noticing that, like, um, while they look identical, um, I think some of them have enchanted gear and others don't. But, um, by gear I mean the armor, but I don't know for sure. There's a gas spawner and then there's the ice elemental spawner. So we know that for a fact, but whether or not, um, let's go ahead and eat some bread for now. 
um, whether or not you know we can kind of deal with all this is another thing altogether. So um, the big question is, <sighs> we could Frostwalker just run straight across and then try to just break the spawners as quickly as possible, and then. You know what? Something that might help with that. Ah, we're gonna we're gonna actually prep this a little bit now that we know what we're up against. Ah, uh, so first things first. Frostwalker. Let's put those on, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use a little bit of our experience to repair those. Ah, uh, let's do two more. Nope, wrong one. Okay. So that is really good. We will put those on once we get there. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to grab um, potions. So nether wart. Um, you know, something that I didn't consider... We have plenty of food stuff. Building materials. You know what we don't have? Sand or glass. Um, let's look around here a little bit. There might be... This is all the notes. Hmm. Because we can't make potions without sand. And I don't know that we found any, let alone, like, have any. So what I want to do is I want to make um, speed potions. Uh, speed potions would actually be super duper useful at this point. But, um, yeah, we don't have access to that. Okay. So, you know what we could do? We also don't have any sugar cane yet. We could just go ahead and steal one. Um, that's not a problem, but... We need glass, or, or bottles, either one would work. Um, now I know that there's probably some at the wind, uh, wind chill tundra, but is it worth it to go all the way there for that? No, not really. Uh, let's check the melting dead real quick. Uh, we'll get through here and just go straight to the house. Uh, we're not that cold, it's not too bad. Uh, and we'll see if there's anything here. Uh, I don't know that there is, but I think we cleared it out pretty well. Uh, so what do we have? Nothing in there. Nothing in those. Uh, that just has a leather cap. Yeah, okay. You know, I realize we could probably dig through this a little bit. Is there any chests over here? No. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and leave a torch there. So that means... Unless I might have brought stuff up. Ok, 
case I've wanted something, but no, nope. okay. <laughs> Zombies just hanging out. All right, so I guess let's go back and hmm. I don't know that there's any bottles in the one place. Uh, we can check it real quick, but uh, I want to give it one more good run because if we can get the White Fang, then we can just kind of leave um, this area and go to um, the rest of Intersection 2 and finish up this map. There's not much left after that. Uh, so... God, those are spooky no noises. Noises. Um, very spooky. But yeah, let, let's check real quick in uh, Talia's hut house thing that she made. Um, God, I'm, I'm acting like she, there, there's actually a person named Talia that was at this location in Minecraft. Um, it, it's it's a lie. It's it's just Vex. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Vex is Talia. So uh, we'll see if there's any glass bottles there. Um, otherwise, I don't know that I've really seen any sand or anything. So we can't make any i don't know why i'm not equipping white fang for this because speed boost no okay so let us head back up there um we're gonna get warm before we go in we're gonna get really warm because those ice elementals seem to be everywhere um and we're gonna break those spawners. We're gonna we're gonna try our best. Um, we can use Ender Pearls. We can use um, the Frostwalker boots. I think is gonna be the best way to just go grab the sword if we want to do that. Um, but also just kind of we pillar up. We'll break the uh, the spawners, and then we won't have as much of an issue. I don't think. Um, the bad part about this is if this does fail um, and we die, we're going to lose a lot of stuff. So I'm actually going to keep the White Fang sword, the fake one, um, well, not with me. And a lot of the other stuff we can kind of come back for later if we need to. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead, get up here. And yeah, so get in there, break spawners, make sure things are lit up um, in the air as well. God, three, three deaths. Although, uh, to be fair, only one of those is really major to any uh, measure. So do that, do that. We'll get really warm with White Fang on. Um, let's go ahead and leave both buckets. Actually, we'll keep the water bucket. Uh, ladders might actually be useful. We're going to want the stake. Uh, we can leave most of our torches back. We'll take a good bit of blocks. And that should be fine. Let's leave some arrows. So we're going to get super duper warm. And then we are going to, oh, we're going to do this. So once we get back to that spot with the water, we're going to throw on the Frostwalker boots. We're going to run across um, and hopefully we'll be good. So this is very much kind of cross your fingers type type of thing. Um, the gas are not, a, not an issue. Uh, our bow is good enough. It's not that bad. Um, we'll get warm enough without that. Uh, but more importantly is just dealing with all this stuff. So let's go. I don't want to wait anymore. I will say it does get to that point with the armor. Uh, and the, like once your armor is good enough, a lot of what you'll end up doing is just kind of waiting for your uh, temperature to come back up. More so than like... All right. 
Why did you dodge? Okay. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and eat good steak. Good food means, um... Good food means that you're going to have a much better time. Uh, okay. So, Frostwalker boots. And all this water has already frozen. Um... So that is the gas spawner. Alright, um, we need to eat again. Uh, so I'm not worried about the gas spawners. Now, these are all gas spawners. Okay. Let's grab all that. And we're getting out of here. Alright, we need to eat. Block that off. Okay. We have diamond armor right now. And we're going to eat an apple. We're going to be super careful about this. I'm... Oh, I hate that bug. Um, sorry, I'm a little nervous. We just got a lot of good stuff. Um, including White Fang. The actual. Um, which we're going to equip because it's going to give us a lot of health. And we'll, we'll look at it once we get out of here. Whew. All right, so out of curiosity, so that's where the spawners are. Okay. Come on, uh, we'll kill the ice elementals. They're weak, um, but temperature wise, we are very cold, um, but we should not be getting colder. And we can kill, we can kill these guys with one hit. Wow. All right. Is there any signs that there's spawner in here? I don't know, but we're just gonna put that there. All right. So, um. We just got a lot of really good stuff. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. And we'll take a look at what we got. So we got, obviously, some diamond armor. Um, we're going to go back and enchant this stuff before we do too much more. Uh, just because... Well, I mean, why wouldn't you? So, um, we have so many of these power punch bows. If we can repair them together uh, and get just a bunch of things, that would be really nice. So let's take all this stuff. Uh, we'll take the fake white fang. It's actually not a bad thing to have. Grab all this stuff. Grab the book. Why not? Don't need the bones or the mushrooms or any of this stuff, really. Um, we'll take the arrows. Why not? And I want to grab the bed. Uh, the furnaces are probably also important. Uh, but I don't really have anything we can leave behind. So let's take a look at white fang. Um, it is Smite 5, Unbreaking 5, um, Mending. So it's going to be really hard for it to break. Um, it's plus 10 max health when it's in your hand, when it's in your main hand. Um, attack speed is up, so you can basically spam click it. Um, it has 8 attack damage, and it gives you 2 armor. So it is really good. So it's 5 hearts of uh, health, by the way. That's what... Um, you know, we can eat this last steak. Uh, that's what that means. So this is a really, really good weapon. Um, it's it's a really good item in general, but it's also a really good weapon. 
So let's grab this stuff. And I will tell you guys what. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. We did it. We conquered the White Fang dungeon. And we have White Fang. Um, the mythical sword of this map. Um, we also have some diamond armor. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off next episode at the, um, at the base, the geothermal plant. And we're going to enchant some stuff. We're going to repair some stuff. Um, and get this stuff kind of where we want it to be. Um, before heading out and taking on, I don't know which one we're going to do, whether it's the, uh, the mine or the little town. Ooh, that was close. Um, but we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll decide next time. Um, probably do the town first because a smite sword is really good against zombies. Uh, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.